way too tall. Yeah, Come no. Up with me, Jess. Yeah. Yep. That's too tall for our purposes. Very pretty, but too tall. All right, very cool. Pull back on. Just keep your delta good. That's good for your height. I should be okay. Sure. So where we were headed to actually, I think is is where the actual chopped off the bigger bigger chimney that's been cut. is they can use that they use that information with now the ongoing um, higher time resolution uh, resistivity information to see how to predict how the actual composition composition may have changed and whether the, you know there's changes due to temperature and and, and whatever That's perfect. So for folks sending questions in about that, uh, special thing about a gas tight is it is capturing these waters and the um, the everything, the gases and minerals that are dissolved in solution, and it's capturing them at that pressure rather than uh, like a Niskin bottle. When you rise back to the surface, the temperature changes, um, the pressure changes, different things can come out of or into solution, um, which just gives you a different picture uh, than, I guess, a less complete or just really a different picture of what's in the water. So gas tight is this um, contraption, this series of uh, chambers, vacuum chambers and different chambers here. Um, All right, let's bring Mongo more over the porch and tucked in towards the camera. So there's a handle that you can see her... Uh, the craft predator arm holding, and then there's a plunger. And you want to rotate your wrist up so that way when you uh, wrist out, sorry, the, the wrist pitch, you know, bring the wrist pitch up so that when you wrist yaw, it's going to be pretty much of a straight pop. Some beautiful vents here, but all of them are very, very tall, as you're seeing, and very thin. Uh, so stick with us as we give a couple tries here to different ways we could approach this whole chimney. All right, Gabby, you want to look? That's way better. Yeah. Still. Gabby, go ahead and hit stick lock. So they will, they'll pick it up with one arm, position it, and then use the other arm to trigger it. So they'll probably try and position it with Mongo, I would imagine, or maybe they use Looked like the other way around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Margo just touches it. And where will the analysis be done for these gas sites? Um, Newport. And what will you be detecting in these? How does it complement the bars? For those looking this up on the plotting utility, this is the Mothra bars sensor. Uh, it may be a little delayed as we've just got this instrument turned on in being delivered, but you'll be able to find it there in plotting utility. So site name is Mothra Ventfield. The instrument is bars, B-A-R-S. Let's bring it down to six inches. Okay, coming down to six inches. Six inches, and then again, just sort of move it into the plume so that we can see the. Uh, yeah. You can so we can sort of really be clear that it's yeah, actually in the plume. They get one ten. Okay, they're up to one ten. That's good. So we're going to do one minute at six inches, and then we're going to insert.